Make sure Saint Julian will explain how one little bitty part that costs only a few dollars can destroy your engine if not changed on time and if you check your service manual you should replace it every so many thousand miles. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, today will be super helpful video guys, to any of you having a car, you open the oil cap on the engine to let's say put oil or change your engine oil, you see that white build up, kind of like uh, jelly on top guys, it's terrible, white is yellow build up, still just will explain the number one thing for that, one part that most people never replace but you should replace and if you check your service menu it will say every so many thousand miles you need to replace it and if you don't replace that little part that costs only a few dollars it can destroy your engine, we will explain why, so make sure you stay until the end, we will cover very helpful information. Before we start let me tell you a little bit about us, every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for a good price, quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools, supplies from and you can save a ton of money. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. This is a dot challenger that we have guys. So right here now if you look at it doesn't matter what engine you have four six eight cylinder this is a v6 engine this is a really new engine guys it will be a really new engine but we will explain why it could happen because many of you requested that information in the comment section below so let's say you open the cap guys this one probably will not have it because the engine has only 41,000 miles but we open it and on the inside there is a wall of white build up we had many cases of that where you have slug sludge build up oil uh fumes kind of like build up it will be uh it will be uh, whitish milkish in cover guys and uh, you kind of like wonder okay what can easily easily cause that now it could be multiple things uh, sometimes it's normal to have a little bit of build up we'll explain why uh, when you drive your engine guys short distance let's say you started you drive it only a mile or two to get to somewhere you turn it off and you keep doing that for an uh, extended period of time let's say for a month or two you had only short trips the engine kind of like will barely warm up it will get cold barely warm up get cold that can cause condensation in the engine because you get hot and cold hot and cold and that condensation it's kind of like uh, vapors or water vapors inside that will actually rise to the highest point of the engine and usually that will be your oil cap guys and that's normal to happen in some cases but on long trips it should almost clear itself to the point that you don't have anything like that but if it doesn't guys okay let's explain here what we have and how it can cause easily that we have that special device that's known as a uh, pcv valve positive crankcase ventilation valve this valve is super Yes, okay, super important valve. Uh, PCV valves are uh, items that you need to replace quite often, every so many thousand miles. It costs only a few dollars, usually they're not expensive, but if not replaced, okay, that can cause quite a bit of uh, that whitish buildup in the oil cap. It can cause increased oil consumption. It can cause, guys, in some cases, multiple oil leaks. It can practically destroy your engine in the long run. And you wonder why? Okay, so let's talk about that now, what it does and why it's there. That PCV valve usually it's somewhere on most cars, not all. Some BMWs have it uh, between the intake manifold and the uh, cylinder block, uh, but on most cars will be somewhere on the valve cover, behind it, on top, somewhere like that. What it does, when the engine runs, guys, okay, you have blow-by gas from the cylinder that will make its way to the crankcase, the lower part of the engine. But that crankcase is connected with the cylinder head guys and that's where the oil cap is as well. And uh, that blow-by gas, if it doesn't come out, what will happen, it will start developing pressure in the engine, it can develop multiple oil leaks, uh, and you have that PCV valve that will separate the oil fumes from that blow-by gas, they will leak back in the oil pan, and the clean air will be injected in the intake manifold and it will burn through the engine as extra air. Uh, but if that PCV valve fails, you can often, guys, okay, 
uh, blame it for uh, uh, in some cases increased oil consumption oil leaks or uh, that whitish uh, sludge whatever it's called build up on the oil cap as well so because of that valve itself we have a video that explains how to test it it takes only a few minutes how to replace pcv valve but it's super important guys to take care of it immediately because if you have increased oil consumption that can cause um, extra oil being burned through the engine which can clog up the catalytic and Converters in the long run that's thousands of dollars in repairs if it's stuck open it can cause lean fuel mixture the engine computer will try to compensate by spraying more fuel and that can lead to uh, having more fuel in the exhaust having rich fuel mixture at that point and that can cause burn catalytic converters too uh, it could be burn valves multiple things can happen in the long run it will not happen overnight but you need to really change your pcv valve uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that if you have any questions let us know thank you guys for watching and see you next time